Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to change out your third brake light on a 2015 and up F-150 to our new LED one. This is our new smoke third brake light for the 2015 and up F-150. You'll see that it's a dark smoke. And then if you flip it over, you have one connector that plugs into the stock harness. Other than that, it's the four screw holes here and you're done. The tools that you'll need for this are a pair of pliers a T20 Torx bit, a flat blade bit, and a Torx driver. To remove your stock third brake light, you'll need to remove this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw. Now you can use either a flat blade or a T20 Torx attachment. I'm gonna use a drill. You can use a regular standard screwdriver if you'd like though. You want to be careful not to drop these as you still need them to install the new third brake light. And you see once you remove it, the third brake light will release from the vehicle. You can set your drill off to the side, let this hang down. Now the pliers are for if you look inside, there's two holes right here. We've already removed ours once before, but on this harness, you have two plastic tabs that stick up through these two holes. So you'll want to use the pliers to pinch them and push down so you can release this connector. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and just unplug it by pushing in the tab and pulling it out. Now to install the new one, you're going to want to take your connector and move it over the center here so it's coming out here as you can see on the back of our third brake light we go in through the center instead of the outer side take our harness off the back of our light and you just go ahead and plug it right in now you may have to wiggle it around but it will go in and snap together now we've made our seal a little bit thicker than stock so you can try and put this back into these holes but you're gonna have a very difficult time what I do is I just feed it back in here, into the pocket. You want to line up your locator pins into the vehicle. And then with your screws, you just go ahead and re-hand tighten them just to get the light to stay on the vehicle. Then you can go back through and tighten them all up. Now, if you are using a drill, you're going to want to use like a six or seven setting on your drill. That way you don't over tighten these and crack the plastic. So just like anything else that has multiple screws, you want to alternate your tightening pattern. That way you don't crack anything or ruin anything. And now we're done. We can check the functions, cargo and brake lights. You'll need another person to see your brake lights. That's how easy it is to install these. 